What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. Welcome to the first official video of the off season. So we finished up our season last weekend, really two weekends ago at Florence Speedway for the South Carolina 400. Didn't go as planned. <laughs> Ended up getting caught up in a wreck and what was basically the biggest late model race that I have ever attempted to run. So that was unfortunate. We got a lot of big news coming at you this video. Uh, some interesting stuff, some plans for the off season going into next year. Uh, we're making a table for a new podcast that we've got going on. So I've got a piece of wood that I've brought up here that my grandpa cut and we're working on that, getting that put together. So I'm gonna show you guys some progress on that once it's finished. Show you some updates to the race shop. We've improved the shop a little bit, patched some holes that type of thing and then we're going to talk a little bit about uh my race car situation and what my plans look like moving forward so thank you guys for being here thanks for clicking on this upload let's get into it So this is my table slab that my grandpa cut. He's got a sawmill that he does down here. Works on a lot of different things. I can't remember what type of wood this was, but I've already sanded it up and grinded down the edges about to what I want. And I had an idea for a table that would include wheels. So the base for it would be a wheel laying down, a wheel straight up and down, and another wheel laying down with a metal plate on top. And then the table will set directly on top of that. So this is what I got. I got to finish sanding it. I'm almost done. And then I got to stain it or clear it. And then uh, my cousin Wyatt's working on the base right now because he's the welder of the bunch. So he's working on my idea for that. So here's the base. You guys seen Wyatt welding on it. Now he's got to level it up and then we're going to figure out how I'm going to mount the actual board to the wheels. But I was going to do two different uh, legs of wheels, but I think one centerpiece is going to be plenty. So this is about what it's going to look like. Except my dumbass carried it in here and busted a freaking corner. So now i got to resand that. But... It's not anything special, but once we figure out how we're going to mount it, it'll make a nice little podcast uh, table, at least for what I'm trying to use it for. So you guys know how I like to scavenge for body parts, so check out my latest haul. Big shout out to uh, Carol Speed Shop for the hookup. Got Toyota nose, a couple of Chevy noses in good shape, black one, and then the last one's a white Chevy. And then this right half is good, so I'm gonna have to drill that off, get rid of that left half. We got a good greenhouse uh, front glass. We've got some quarter panels, a couple fenders, doors, uh, greenhouse that's been kind of worn out, but I'm gonna try to put back together, and a bumper cover. So, massive haul. So you guys are probably wanting an update on this thing. So this will be our primary car next year, um, out of Huffman Racing Stable. It's actually my old chassis if you've seen one of my previous videos where I actually brought it home last time I've raced in this thing or the last time it's raced in general is 2016 but uh, it is going to be sandblasted on Friday and then sent to the powder coaters next week after we hang a body on it so we've got sandblasting and hanging a body before it goes to get painted all that will be documented on the channel for our uh, primary 2023 build. Making it up as we go, hopefully it looks good, but I think it's gonna turn out all right. Also, check out that Molly Black Gold sticker down there. Fun fact, Molly Black Gold sponsored my dad in 1992 and he burned up in Daytona wreck. I hit it with two more coats of that lacquer. It's got some rumples in it a little bit that I don't think will come out unless I re-sand it just from where it was cut, but I'm really happy with it. The sun's bringing out all the imperfections, but the wood actually looks really cool, so going to get it in here and get it mounted to uh, what Wyatt's working on for the base and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Here's our final product. Not too shabby. 
So we uh, got that metal plate and screwed it in. And that's what's holding everything together. And then these are all welded together. And so it should be solid. So about this podcast, essentially we are going to do Huffman Racing Radio, which is going to be a recap style comedic podcast with some video over on our secondary channel, which I'll put down in the link below. It's now the Huffman Racing YouTube channel. I was using it as an onboard channel just to upload raw onboards, but I'm going to give both myself and all of my crew guys an opportunity to have a platform to talk about different things that happens in the everyday daily huff and racing uh, process weekly process at the racetrack that type of thing experiences and stories and things of that nature that we get into during our time racing so it's gonna be a lot of fun short like 30 minute podcast every week but uh, we're gonna try our hand at it and see what we can do so you guys will be the first to know obviously in a video whenever we release an episode of that um, I'll show you a finished product or at least a halfway positioned product of our uh, podcast room. It's actually in my streaming room uh, here in a moment. There's something else that's happening here since you guys last seen. More race shop renovation. So there used to be a huge giant hole here in the insulation. Um, you can see some of the insulation's falling down in other places, but we patched the hole with some plywood. We put in some beams all the way across and then fastened the plywood up to it. So it looks really nice nice but it actually isn't bad grandpa helped us with it he's a mastermind at things like this so we've got it mounted up there to patch our hole put insulation on top of it so hopefully we don't freeze our ass off in here this winter so that's a good thing so many of you guys may not have actually seen inside my streaming room it is an absolute wreck right now but i just got a new pc uh i knocked a shelf off the wall with a bunch of bobbleheads and they broke and shattered everywhere. I've tried to piece them back together, but that's about all it's gonna get. So yeah, uh, this is the table and this is where it's gonna go. All right, it's the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and continue the video, but I'm gonna get the shitty part of this nose off. That way I can go ahead and throw it away. Then I've gotta get the shocks off the Prolate model. Um, and then springs off of them because they were rentals from our shock guy, Brandon, over at Dynamic Shocks. So I got to get those back to him. And then the motors got to start coming out of the Prolate uh, so we can figure figure out a plan on that car. This drill is terrible. Here are all the shocks I've got to take back to Brandon. So if you guys are interested in wondering who does my shocks, right here is uh, who takes care of us. Dynamic Shock Service. Brandon over there at Dynamic is uh, excellent at what he does. He's got great prices and uh, race winning shit. So check him out. So these are the three Willwoods that I found down at Dad's. And I mean, they're not in great shape. They're older. But for what I'm trying to do, at least for a second car, that's really all I need. I think Rich, Rich actually has a couple other ones uh, for me to use. And then these screw jacks I found, I think are going to work. So yeah, I got to figure out, at least front end wise, my screw jack situation. Because this is a big spring clip. And what we've raced all year is coilover. So that's going to be different. But if I have to go buy those things, that's fine. Moving into 2023, I will be driving for... Huffman Racing, my family on race team here out of the original Huffman Racing shop. I'll have the Magic Apple here, which will be one of my cars, and then we're working on purchasing a second car to have in our stable here, possibly a third car. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, moving into 2023, Jason Smith and I will no longer be working together. Uh, just for the simple fact that we have different goals and uh, aspirations for the following year. And I feel like it's best for me to go ahead and build some equity in my own program and get some race cars here and move forward like I have been uh, and build off of everything that we've been working on. So uh, massive thank you to Jason Smith for uh, the hospitality over the years and allowing me to drive his race cars. It was a privilege and an honor to do so. We won a lot of races and, uh, but moving forward, I'm excited to be in my own stuff again and uh, kind of build some equity in my own program. So that's the plan. I'm not telling you exactly where we're gonna race yet 
or what we're going to be doing because that'll be coming at a later date. We've got sponsorship announcements and some cool stuff like that. But uh, yeah, moving forward, 2023, Huffman Racing. That's where we'll be. So that is going to be all for the first official video of the off season. Didn't really accomplish a lot in this video, but I needed to get some content out. I wanted you guys to see the podcast set up. Wanted you to have an update on what our plans are moving forward uh, going into the new year. Like I said, a bunch more information will be coming in the near future for you guys so that you fully understand the gist of what all is going on. But thank you guys for all the support. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 15K. It's going to be tough. We might be able to hit it by the end of the new year or the start of the new year, end of this year. I don't know if uh, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, you made it this far, smash that damn sub button, baby. Let's, uh, let's bump that number up. We got to chase 15K before the end of the year. But thank you guys so much. Have a good morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will catch you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.